All right, so we're back here at DevOps Days. Jason Hand, one of the organizers. Yeah. So t tell me a little bit about you know, DevOps Days. Why did you guys start it last year? What's, what's the impetus behind all that? Sure, well, we, we started it last year, uh, our first year, and it was really kind of the result of, um, there's the DevOps Days sort of, uh, we'll just call it a movement, but it's sort of a, a worldwide um, conference or unconference that had been taking place all around the world, and I had been to a number of them, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> every time I came back to Denver, I just felt like it would be really cool if we had one here. We know that there's a huge uh, presence of tech companies in, in the area, all up and down the front range, uh, not just in Denver, but of course in Boulder, down DTC, all the way up in Fort Collins. Right. And so I felt like um, this area was actually ready for our DevOps days. Um, and we already had some meetups in the area. There's a DevOps meetup for Denver, there's one for Boulder, I think there's one for DTC as well. And after sort of getting together with those people, uh, the members that actually run those events, we decided that it would be good to go ahead and try to organize one locally. Yeah. And uh, just kind of followed the, uh, there's more or less a, a very simple basic template that you can follow to just to put on these events in any city that you want. Um, and so we reached out to the core organizers, told them that we're interested in, in organizing one for Denver, made sure that kind of had their blessing for that. Yeah. And then uh, of course they gave us their support and uh, we started uh, you know, reaching out to volunteers and just getting people kind of amped up and excited to help us. And uh, just kind of kept going from there. So awesome. here we are, day or not day two, day two of the second year. <laughs> right, right. And um, uh, we had like over 400 people come in yesterday. Really, almost like double the attendance of last year. It was year, almost. almost double, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Which was crazy. We had a huge wait list. So um, it's been pretty fascinating, actually, to see yeah. the growth of it from last year to this year. Uh, how many people now are aware of it? They're excited about it. They're talking about it on social media. Yeah. Uh, we sold out uh, very early and then opened up more tickets, which were sold out again. So um, all that I think is is promising for for the event you know, moving forward. But uh, yeah, so that's well, kind of how it started. When well, you talked about DevOps as a movement, so why? I mean, you know, what's the what is DevOps? Yeah, the importance of that. Well, so. There's lots of different uh, ways to sort of describe right. DevOps, and everybody's got a different definition of what it is, but at its heart, it's really just a matter of changing the way that you work. Um, it, it was designed basically to mimic a lot of the same things that we learned about Agile and Agile software development, sure. but applying those principles more so to the, uh, the ops side of the, uh, the room or the system administrators. Um, and so taking a lot of the Agile like principles mm -hmm. and applying that to uh, infrastructure is really what started this whole thing. Uh, and, and a big reason is because Agile has, has created a scenario where software developers are able to crank out software very quickly, very efficiently. Um, but the, the other side of the aisle, the, the system administrators, the ops people, they can't really keep up with that pace. Uh, and so there was this bottleneck. And that's where people started thinking, well, what if we took the same principles that the developers are using to develop their software and we applied that to our infrastructure stuff? And then we have a common language. We can start uh, sharing thoughts and collaborating a little bit more, being a lot more transparent about what takes place both in, in both of those two sort of segmented internal IT groups. Um, you'll hear a lot of uh, terms like silos and islands where previously it felt like our developers and our operations teams they didn't really collaborate very much. They didn't even know what they were working on or what the others were working on. And so the ideas behind DevOps is really to kind of melt those whatever barriers or boundaries that are between those two groups and get them collaborating and get them understanding more and being empathetic about uh, each other's struggles and, and the different things that they have. And the result of that is that teams become a lot more efficient, sure. a lot more resilient, a lot more scalable. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you look at companies like Netflix, it, it, they're really taking this idea of DevOps and turning it in. It's becoming a culture of yeah. DevOps, it's like yeah. beyond a movement. Oh, totally. Yeah, so our keynote speaker yesterday, Dave Hahn, mm -hmm. uh, is from Netflix, and a big part of his talk is that uh, you know they don't really focus on whatever definition they come up with for DevOps. They really right. just focus on the culture piece. Right. And, and everything else kind of falls into line because of that. And uh, I think you know that's one way of approaching it for sure, and it works for for Netflix. Mm -hmm. Saying that we just need to change our culture is always very difficult, especially <laughs> for larger companies. Absolutely. Um, so it's it's tough because there's a lot of people who who hear you know DevOps and like oh this is interesting I want to learn more or I need to buy some DevOps or something like that and so there's a lot of confusion on what it even is. Absolutely. Um, but the best way to describe it really is that it's a matter it it comes down to changing the way you do things inside your company and, and, yeah. and how you operate together. 
and it's not just devs and ops. It's you know the security team, it's network, it's everybody in IT and, and beyond. Um, and and it does require kind of a reset of how you think about your internal culture and, and what you want your organization sure. to look like and how they work together. So where do you see DevOps going? Because I've heard some people talk about you know now now it's site reliability, uh, mm -hmm. site reliability engineers. Yeah. And where is DevOps going? Well, so. I believe it's going to keep getting more and more uh, steam as people learn about it and get excited and, and realize that there, there are better ways to get things done and, yeah. to, and to get our work done. And I think they'll be you know, sort of energized about these new ways. Um, of course, new terms and new ideas are going to come up. I mean, that's just part of tech and part of the world. But um, I believe that uh, once people really understand that this is just really um, the underlying thing here is that it's just we're changing the way for improvements. So. Another way that I describe DevOps is that it's really just about continuous improvement. And when you focus more on continuously improving things like continuous delivery and continuous integration and uh, better transparency and more efficiency, all of those are actually the result of continuous improvement. Yeah. Um, but you have to switch off something in your mind that, that was previously keeping you from just thinking about constantly improving. Even if they're small incremental changes, they sh that should be the focus. Um, so I think when people realize that that's all it is, is that we just have to think about placing focus on continuously improving. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that, sounds, that sounds exciting. That sounds fun. Right. And I think you're going to see more and more people, um, all of a sudden their light bulb is going to come on yeah. and they're going to realize, oh, we can do this. And whether or not we call it DevOps doesn't really matter, but we're getting better. We're, our product is getting better. Our customers are happier um, and so on and so forth just because they're focused more on the improvement piece. Awesome. I like that. I like that. Well, cool. Well, listen. Yeah. Congratulations on everything. Thanks. Year two, and what's next for you? Well, <laughs> we, we we're kind of worried or concerned that we may have outgrown this facility yeah. for uh, for a venue. So, uh, uh, you know, next year is for sure going to happen. We we intentionally named it DevOps Stays Rockies, yes. so we had flexibility to go up and down the Front Range and host it wherever we want. So, Great. Boulder could be a possibility. Uh, maybe even Fort Collins one day, but yeah. we'll definitely maybe. Um, venture outside of Denver, but we do need to start looking at other facilities and other venues and, and see if we can find something as amazing as Fortress. This has been great, yeah. um, but we've, we've definitely outgrown it. Cool. Um, well, so yeah, thing. yeah, no, it's all, it's good problems. Um, but awesome. yeah, it'll happen again around this time again next year. Cool. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to it. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Cool. Thanks a lot.